Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to easily set an image in full screen mode in your Android TV app. So let's begin. Let's create a new project. You can keep it as an empty project and image in full screen mode in Android TV. Yeah. Then click finish. Wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. Yeah. So environment is still loading out. So first, uh, so first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll create an asset folder. So I'll go to the project mode over here, expand it, app, source, and under main, you can right click and click on new directory and double click assets so that it creates an assets folder over here. And I'll copy a file. Uh, I have already downloaded a uh, image file cloud.jpg that. I will try to put it over uh, as a full screen mode in my app. So I have copied it. I just did control C there and control V there. And that image has come here. So I will be using this image to show in our uh, TV app. Also in parallel, I will start my emulator so that it can come, it can load up in parallel on the right hand side. Okay, so uh, no, first and foremost, what I will do is in my this uh, layout, what I can do over here probably is. Okay, uh, I can remove this text too. I don't need this. And also, project can also change the view to TV because then my view over here is also aligned to the app what I'll be getting uh, on the, the layout what I'll be getting on the TV. Yeah. So, this is basically a more horizontal layout, uh, landscape layout. Yeah. Okay, so over here, first I'll put a button which will trigger it. So, a button. Will be good, and I can name this button as, say, for example, uh, image in full screen mode. You can name this button anything, it doesn't matter. I'm just putting this button so that I can initiate that trigger. Okay, okay, so this put no, I don't know why it went or not. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And uh, also, I'll put one image view. So I'll put one image view over here, and you can choose any background. It doesn't matter uh, for the time being. And over here, that's the good part. What you have to do is instead of wrap content, you just have to do match parent for both. So the layout width should be that one, and even the layout height should be match parent, so that it uh, completely covers the whole screen. Now once done that, you should also set its visibility to be invisible in the initial start. Otherwise, this button will not be visible, right? So that's why we need the button to be visible, and that's why you should set it invisible initially. The uh, image, okay? Or uh, even if you, it's invisible, you can always select from here and do whatever attributes you want to set over here. That will work out. Now in this uh, Java file, what we'll do is we'll first create a we'll a public Wide uh, button image show. So this will be the method which will be called by the button click. And if I go back to my uh, layout, I'll quickly associate it uh, with that uh, method using the on click attribute over here. Perfect. So I think in terms of layout, I'm done. I'll go back. I'll create a quickly a very quickly a class variable called image view. And associate it with the widget image view. Find you by id r dot id dot image view widget is what I am associating it with. Perfect. Now over here we'll start accessing this asset whatever we have uh, imported here cloud or jpg. For that we'll create something called input stream first. No, no, I think the spelling is wrong. Input stream, yeah, and input stream, and then get assets dot open, and here you have to give the file name cloud.jpg. So dot jpg, yeah, perfect. It's giving me some warning, I think it's shown by try guys. That should be fine. You can just click that, and it will surround it by try guys. It will take care. So now we'll create a bitmap here bitmap image you can name this but anything it doesn't matter 
and this bitmap will create is from the input stream what we have just now about created so bitmap factory decode input stream so decode stream yeah this one is what i wanted and once i have the bitmap of course uh, this is very easy to set image bitmap and we have any other bitmap I mean, so and yeah one more thing what we have to do is, is then you have to set the image view as you have to make the visibility as visible so don't forget that because initially we have made it invisible for it for it doesn't appear so it doesn't show up so i'm rerunning the uh, uh code in my app so let's see how it comes up okay so i think uh, okay let me make it bigger so it's visible yeah so my app has launched, of course, I can't see the image view, uh, the initial layout, I can just see this button and on clicking this button, I can see a full screen image of whatever I have imported here. So this was the image which I downloaded and kept it uh, up front and this is the image I can see. So I just wanted to show you, it's pretty simple, you make an image view of full screen layout up front. You can also change the uh, size of image view from Java code as well uh, by setting the uh, fit and height over but better to keep it uh, do the settings the layout issues perfect so i just wanted to show you this only that how uh, easy it is the steps are you just import your image uh, in the assets uh, folder and then you can convert that uh, asset uh, image asset into bitmap and then use bitmap to show or display it on the image view so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.